I'm Michelle Smoller, editor, host, and producer of my own television show, which I've cultivated for the past four years through the bubble and keeping it real with Michelle Smoller. Please enjoy my professional reel. Yo, yo, yo! You're kicking it with M. Small, and today I am trying out for five hip-hop dance teams. Frankly, today I'm going to see if I've got what it takes to be a vibe dancer too. You're going to hear some great interviews with the vibe presidents and find out a little bit what it means to be a hip-hop dancer. So stay tuned, and maybe you too can pick up some moves with me, Michelle Small. I view the chance to try new things as a gift that I can share with my viewers. There are many instances where I have undertaken new hobbies on camera, like surfing, skateboarding, and even Swedish folk dancing, in order to share my progress and experiences with viewers. I want people to be able to live vicariously through my adventures and see me taking risks so that they too will feel comfortable taking their own. I have filmed segments for my show in eight different countries and I love to travel. This reel features footage from Israel, Sweden, Holland, and France, and of course, my own local Vanderbilt University campus. So right now we are outside uh, in The Hague and we are at an exhibit called Out of Order and the reason why this exhibit is out of order among many reasons is because this man next to me is not a real sculpture. We are in a sculpture garden but he is not a sculpture. He is a live human being and as such, you know, here in The Hague if you come sit next to him you can put your feet up on him, you can do whatever you want. You can basically just, you know, do whatever. And it's so out of order, right? It's quite bizarre. There are photographs all over of uh, random people just lying like this, you know, in his lap. Is it bizarre? I think so. Is it fun here in Holland? Absolutely. Stay tuned for more. Here's an opening segment that I created on my trip to France. Okay, y'all, we all have a good time, right? It brings you only the finest entertainers. With, with, with us, a special guest. It's the real, real. It's the real. As you can see, it's just beautiful. The sun is shining, the air is fresh, and the view is spectacular. Here is an actual vineyard. Uh, grapes are grown to produce wine in the south of France. As most people know, uh, south of France, and all of France, is known for its cheese, its wine, and uh, in addition to its lilac and sunflower seeds. Here you can try to eat a grape that isn't fully ripe yet, but let's see what it's like. In addition to having a lot of seeds, it's very, very, very tart and very sour flavor. I like it, but uh, these grapes are definitely not ready yet, but I'm sure once they are, they're going to be delicious either for eating or for wine. Who knows? Maybe they could end up on your dinner table. Here in the south of France, towns are often so small that as you can see, here is the one pub in the town. Here is the one boulangerie, or bakery in the town. Here is the one local woman of the town. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, you know, a couple of years ago I was in Poland, and Poland was very interesting, you know. But let me tell you about Poland. 
Driving in Poland is a bitch, yeah. <laughs> While I was there, I backed into like three poles. <laughs> oh! Think about it, people. I'm not talking about the signs. Oh you know, but after I was in Poland, that's right, RG, that's right. Oh my God. But you know, also, let me tell you, also in Poland, there's no driving age, there's no drinking and driving age. You're allowed to drink at any time, which is kind of great. You know, that's kind of great. But I never have in my life drunk and driven. You know why? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> because parking can be murder, you know? <laughs> Hello, Vanderbilt. Welcome back to school. It's fall 2006, and we are here in Kassam Quad. Today is freshman move-in day, and as you will see, freshmen from all around the world are coming back here to Vanderbilt to start their school experience and to start meeting friends and having fun. We're going to see a lot of them today with their families, their friends, and all the other people who've come here to kiss them goodbye and wish them well. As the sister of an incoming freshman, uh, coming here to Vanderbilt, what do you see when you look out on the campus regarding the student body? Boys. <laughs> yeah, a lot of hot guys. <laughs> a lot of hot guys. Well, I think the Vanderbilt gentlemen out there will be happy to hear that some people think so. If you could tell the Vanderbilt viewing audience a little tidbit about yourself, what would it be, Jody? Um, I really like to run. To run? Yeah. Excellent. So we hope to run into Jody on campus sometime soon. <laughs> And um, we know that you'll be running across our minds as you continue watching Keeping It Real with me, Michelle Smoller. Yeah. Never been in the bathroom before. <laughs> There's a first time for everything at college, huh? <laughs> And I saw you with like balls in your mouth earlier. That sounds kind of <laughs> crude, but uh, I didn't mean it to sound like that. But yeah, I'd love you to. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I said balls in your mouth well, now, earlier. Now Sorry about this. that. <laughs> My bad. No justice, no peace, free the genesis. No justice, no peace, free the genesis. Michelle Smoller. Right now we are at a rally for the six people of Jenna, Louisiana who have been imprisoned and who have been facing a lot of racial injustice. We Vanderbilt students are taking a stand against racial injustice in general and are standing today with those Jenna six who have been imprisoned. Um, hopefully more of this campus activism will spread on the Vanderbilt campus and hopefully the Jenna six will get the freedom and justice that they so obviously deserve. So thanks for keeping it real, and keep it real, real with yourself and learn more about the racial injustices and general injustice that unfortunately seems to be occurring off the If possible, do you think you're going to be here next year? For next year? Oh, for sure, definitely. We're all about it. Yeah, I'm going to dance next year. <laughs> yeah, Ashley's What is this? I'm going to dance next year. <laughs> you notice a blonde girl, that's me. <laughs> great, great. Well, um, we're here at Tivali and enjoying ourselves, and you heard it. We're going to be here next year, too. Keeping it real, folks. Now we are here with Josh Davis, one of the band commanders. And now he's going to quickly show us some of his moves. OK, so what do you do as a commander? Get the horns up. So when you want the band to get horny, you go, band, sing, up. OK. OK. A story to tell, what's yours? I'm Michelle Smaller, and you've been watching my professional reel. I created and edited this footage myself and hope that you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.